Welcome to Pro Upcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by Sunderland Group, your success, our tradition. For more information, visit www.sunderlandgroup.com. Now for today's headlines. Although the Troubled Asset Relief Program, or TARP, is set to expire at the end of December, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner today announced that the $700 billion program will be extended through October 3rd of next year. Meanwhile, in an effort to aid accessibility to small business loans and boost the credit market, spending of the federal bailout program's funds will be limited to newer programs aimed at stopping foreclosures. According to Geithner, quote, history suggests that exiting prematurely from policies designed to contain a financial crisis can significantly prolong an economic downturn. We must not waver in our resolve to ensure the stability of the financial system and to support the nascent recovery that the administration and Congress have worked so hard to achieve, unquote. In property casualty news, U.S. home values will have depreciated by nearly $500 billion by the end of 2009. While this news is discouraging, the figure is still an improvement since home values dropped by an alarming $3.6 trillion in 2008, reports Zillow.com. According to the chief economist for the real estate website, quote, home values stabilized significantly during the second half of 2009, with the total dollar value of U.S. homes increasing since June. Most housing markets across the country had a good summer, spurred largely by the government's tax credits for home buyers combined with very low mortgage rates, unquote. In related news, the number of filings for U.S. home loans last week climbed to the highest level in about two months, the Mortgage Bankers Association reports. Total mortgage applications, based on the group's seasonally adjusted market index, rose 8.5% to 665.6 last week, the highest figure since October. Meanwhile, demand for loans to buy a home increased by 4% to 241.5, the highest level since the last week of October, and refinancing applications rose 11.1% to a two-month high. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching ProUpcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.